Hi, this is Tom Olsuski with Team Olsuski and Caldwell Banker. And I want to welcome you again to another informative video. Over the years, we have helped many first-time buyers purchase a home with down payment assistance. And I know that free money is a good thing and all first-time buyers should potentially consider down payment assistance. So, how do you buy a home with down payment assistance? Well, there's a couple of ways. Down payment help sounds great, but how does it actually work? What process should you follow? So, while down payment programs vary greatly by state and community, there are some universal steps that will help you stay on track if a home ownership program is part of your home financing plans. So let's take a look at how it worked for a couple of California buyers I helped. So here's uh, story number one. So Jason and Susan were looking for a home and had great credit but limited funds for down payment. Jason was a veteran, so we were able to utilize his VA benefits with no down payment requirements. We were able to look at a new home purchase for them. They were looking at a new home to purchase at $368,000. We were able to negotiate a seller credit with the builder of $11,161 to cover closing costs for them. The reason being you need both down payment and enough funds to pay for closing costs. They were able to put down just $1,500 as a deposit and, were able, and we were able to get them closed and moved in with a payment they could afford. Next up, Maria and her son Salvador used a California First Time Home Buyer Program to purchase a $305,000 resale home in San Jacinto, California. The program allows first time home buyers with qualified income and purchase price limits to receive up to 3% in secondary financing towards down payment and closing costs. If the home buyer lives in the home for five years, the secondary loan is forgiven. Lender, you, the lender in this case used an FHA loan that required only a 3% down payment. So as a good faith deposit, they put $3,050 down as the initial posit, deposit. While the grant covered their $7,750 closing costs and $7,625 down payment, we were also able to get the seller to pay $5,000 towards the closing costs as well. The remaining amount went towards the principal of the home loan. Because they put 3% down, they also paid a monthly mortgage insurance premium and their first mortgage payment though is still less than $2,000 a month. So if you're renting, consider that. We recommend setting up a budget and savings plan and researching programs that can give you a boost. Checkpoints to keep you on track. So you want to follow these steps to get the most of using a home ownership program. So first off, do some upfront homework and research local home ownership, education, and counseling resources that can help you with the process. Determine what your budget is. Figure out how big a monthly mortgage payment you can afford on your salary. Don't forget that your mortgage payment may also include taxes and insurance. So, Create a savings plan, build a spreadsheet, or use an app to track your expenses. Research down payment assistance programs in your area. Contact the agency offering the program or a home ownership counselor who can help you with the process. You can also reach out to us through our website and we can also help you with that. Both the buyer and the home must qualify for the assistance. Find out the home price limits and any community or neighborhood boundaries for the program that may impact your search. Find out if you can use the program on new construction. In the case of Jason, we, we were able to purchase a new home. 
we can provide you with a participating lender for the home ownership program available on the program provider's website. Not all lenders offer every program. So get pre-qualified for a loan so you can review the numbers and make an educated decision of financing. Our website here can help you with that. Compare offers and ask lender about any other programs for which you may qualify. You may even be able to layer programs. For an example, down payment assistance plus a tax credit. So review mortgage insurance options with your lender as well. Complete home buyer edu education courses that often are required when using a down payment assistance program. Our lender can help you with that. Ask about your options for using the funds. Can they be used for down payment or closing costs or both? So you know if you need to come up with additional funds. So the bottom line, as I currently see it, is that if you are a first time home buyer and you don't quite have the down payment needed, we can help. So I hope this will be helpful. And remember, if you have an immediate question, please feel free to reach out to me or my team. And there will be a slide at the end of this video on ways to contact us. So for now, thanks and make it a great day.